you are not junk. Neither am I. I just recorded another video and it just took so long and the lighting was awful. I'm getting ready to take an Epsom salt bath because I had a lot of uh, non-healthy foods a while ago and I feel like I'm bloated. I'm going to sit here and just share with you for a minute because I just, I'm going to try to keep it short. The last one that I just did, I thought, and I checked, reviewed it, and I was like, man, I took 25 minutes and I went off on several tangents about um, this terrible uh, system in society where prisoners get everything for free and even get paid to get an education while homeless people, they're prisoners to homelessness can't get anything they can't get anything and they can't just go up to a college and you know it's out of walking it's a good long walk anyway but um and people judge them all the time so it's also hard for them to get a job just as well as a former prisoner so i'm going to move on that that's a better we'll talk more about that the other another time um what else did i run over that I wasted time on because I wanted to talk about relationship issues um, first let's start with the Bible verse I did sh have the Bible verse out it's in Matthew 12 48 starts with 46 his some people came in to Jesus and said your mom and your brothers are outside and want to talk to you basically and you can look this up for yourself in Matthew 12 48 46 through I think it's 47 or something like that 48 um, and he said to, he looked at his disciples says, who are my mother and my brothers? It's these people that serve God that are my mother, brothers, and sisters. All throughout the Bible, just so many family problems all throughout. Uh, Adam and Eve had marital issues and lost their home. Not because she took the bite, but he took the bite because he was the one commanded to not take the bite of the, that fruit. Their eyes weren't open until he took the bite. Then Jacob, Esau, Isaac have family issues. David and his family, his brothers, uh, just looked down on him. Um, David had issues with his father-in-law, Saul. Um, Jesus was a lot of times rejected. His own community didn't accept him. Um, let's see. There was a lot of issues going on in everyone's families in the throughout the Bible. Star Wars is getting ready to come out. I'm excited about that. I love Star Wars. Star Wars is like, wow. It's so timeless and, and just perfect. I, I love, well, it's not perfect like Jesus is perfect. But, you know, for a movie, it's really, and it has a lot of meaning to it. It has family issues in there. There's a lot of family drama going on throughout the whole thing of Star Wars. And there's so much conflict here. We all come from the same people and our society in general is a family and we fuss and have issues. And during the holidays and birthdays coming up, it just makes it very hard to feel good about yourself when you have family members that make you feel bad and make you feel like you're not any good and that you're like this sign says, uh, God, don't make no junk. But if you have a family member, especially a close blood relative, that makes you feel like garbage whenever you're around, is it time to cut that relationship off? Maybe they cut the relationship off. And I've had relatives that I have relatives, brothers and sisters and all that, that have nothing to do with me. And I'm okay with that. I have peace about it. I'd rather not have a relationship with them than to constantly be feeling like I'm never good enough. I do not like having to compete with other relatives to try to get approval. I should not be struggling to get approval of a relative, a close relative especially. I should be feeling good about myself. The Bible says to build one another up and encourage one another and live at peace and harmony. But when you're constantly, constantly in that you know conflict when this person you're around this person I don't care how closely related they are to me if they're going to reject you every time you see them 
and they keep secrets from you and you can't seem to have a single conversation with them a real conversation you have to tiptoe around them you may need to just accept the fact that hey it's okay they don't want to have a, a positive relationship with me I'm okay with that God has sent me a ton of family friends that love me as family I feel more comfortable and it's sad because if I need financial help or any kind of help or if I need a shoulder to cry on, I don't call them family members. I, I've always I would contact people at my church. Oh, and I can talk to my doggie here. I know you won't love baby. But yeah. Um, so, but why am I bringing this up right now? My birthday is in two days. I just got a card in the mail from a close relative, blood relative, that has that's won't return phone calls, won't email, and they sent money with it. And I'm thinking, do I need to send the money back? Do I send a thank you note? Do I do just spend the money and not worry about it? What would you do? This person has um, rejected me several times, um, literally, um, and everything, and and, ba and what and has said. With my weight loss, I look disgusting. Um, I have been told by this person that I'm going to amount to nothing. <gasps> Why does he have to bark now? Why? Really? So, Sebastian, calm it down. You're going to be okay. Nobody's out there after you, sweet cheeks. Sorry, my baby here. He gets he gets scared and lonely. Don't you, baby? Yes, you do. Oh, so, I wanted to share with that with you and see what your thoughts are on this subject. Because the last video I did is 25 minutes long, and I'm thinking 25 minutes long, you're not going to want to watch it. I don't want to work watch it, unless it's that entertaining, like maybe Nikki Blackhead or something like that. I don't know. I'll leave those other issues. I'm trying not to get off on tangents on every single thing I do. It seems like when I do video, I go here and there, and I jump around. I'm sorry if I do that. I'm going to try not to. But this is about the relationship thing. What do you do? Comment below what you do with those those type of relationships that just make you feel like, do you, do you, have, everybody, every one of us has uh, some family member you have issues with. That's okay. Have you learned to accept it? Um, are you still in the process of trying to accept the estranged relationship because uh, right now we're in a strange I would call it a, I have an estranged relationships with many family members you know I'm only in contact with one of seven of my siblings yes my mother had a lot of kids and I hate to tell you it didn't all work out very well but nonetheless that's one reason why I don't have a TV in the house I haven't had one over 20 years because I grew up with TVs everywhere. We weren't allowed to talk as children. We couldn't have a... I have never had one single conversation, real conversation with my mother. And I want... So I'm a little overboard. I'm overly involved in my kids' lives. I love my kids. I'm proud of them. They're awesome kids. And I like to bond with them. I'm more of, don't give me money. Give me your time. Give me your attention. I love that kind of thing you know and like me and my st son's been studying that purpose-driven life and I so recommend that to everyone everyone I don't know for me it speaks volumes to me that's why I'm trying to reach out to homeless people too because it's always on my heart I feel like really burdened for that but yeah um just those relationships are so tough around this time of year what do you do what do you do I mean that person has no excuse for never contacting or returning phone calls because I don't have the internet here at the, the house for one. Yet, I make my way to the library. There is. The public library has internet. And you can use the computer there. So, that person can email me if they've ever wanted to email me. And it's been several years since I've had contact with this person. I called the person once, me and my son did, and she never called back. I am not going to fight for her attention and I'm not going to try to get I because every time I'm with her the person I'm always struggling to try to get her approval and make 
and just try to get their approval. And if you're always trying to tiptoe around that person, trying to get their approval, and they continually degrade you, why not step back, see if they contact you. See if they decide, see if they come back to you. I've got to let you go. My battery is about to go dead. So, yeah, just take some time away from that person. See if they contact you and try to reach out to you. And just wait, you know. And I pray you find peace if that person never wants to talk to you again. Even if it's a family member. Just pray for them. Keep them in your prayers. And remember, we are not junk. We are made in God's image. And he created you for a purpose. And live out that purpose today. So I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll check in with you Monday. Or hopefully I can upload this here today or tomorrow at church. Have a great, great rest. Find a church to go to tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Bye.